And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to begin our main card here at the FlexCast Arena here in Miami, Florida for Eagle FC of 44. Three rounds, this in the welterweight division. Your three judges scoring this contest at cage side will be Hector Gomez, Eliseo Rodriguez, and Vicente Rodriguez. Introducing first, fighting to my left out of the red corner. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in officially at 173 pounds. His record includes 17 wins against a dozen losses, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the dynamic Anthony, the assassin, and Jukuwani. And across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in officially at 175 pounds. In nine professional bouts, his record consists of eight wins against a single blemish. Joining us from Mahachkala, Dagestan, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Raymond Mago Medelev. And your referee in charge is Andrew Glenn. And dictating the action there, Andrew Glenn officiating tonight as we kick off the main card of Eagle FC 44, the U.S. debut right here in the FlexCast Arena in Miami, Florida. It's a beautiful thing making history tonight. And here we go in the red and the black, Manomeda leave in the black, Anthony and Jokowani. I feel like there's something coming. If, if you notice, Anthony's really dipping down like his eyes. You know, I, I feel like he's trying to set something up. This is just, this is how he's been fighting. And, and I think it's smart because you are taught that if you want to take punches to the face, you want to take him on the forehead. So he always has that head, that head dip down Ooh. so he can take Ooh, all baby. the strikes. Mago Meta leave using the striking, not being phased <laughs> by the legend of Enja Kowani. Beautiful check mark kick. Like he literally, he you know, he gave the illusion of just a, a, a leg kick and brought up to that. And that's twice that's happened. That's two times. Anthony needs to start using his hands here. Ooh. Oh, he back in the line. And here comes Michael Madaleev. He is looking to capitalize Kamaro. You're right, man. Anthony Andrew Kawani cannot get his rhythm right now. Michael Madaleev with the power. Yeah, you can't just come in here and just be trading kicks with a guy who loves to kick. Use your hands. Set it up. Raimon connected with that just a little bit. Now we're seeing Anthony. This is where that wrestling comes in. This is going to be a big confidence booster if he can get off the fence and break this position. He, I know he was questioning his own ability against the bigger man should it turn to a grappling. Magomedo Lee has been doing a good job on the feet. I think he, I think he keeps it on the feet. I think he, I think he displays something here. He's already caught him with a few kicks to the head, a, 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 a couple kicks to the leg. I mean, the dude's doing work on his feet. I agree, Henry. He needs to keep the fight. He needs to try to at least keep the move. Wow, that was a smooth inside trip. And when we had a chance to talk to Marco Medellin, that's what he said. He goes, I want to stand with him. He has no problem and is not phased by the stand-up of Anthony Anjakawani, who took a lot of time off from mixed martial arts to work on the kickboxing, to go into professional kickboxing. He was extremely successful doing it, but not looking so strong tonight here against Marco Medellin who is a machine. And Kamar, tell us what you're seeing here. From being in the room with Anthony, does he work on this position a lot? Does he wall walk? Are you confident here? He does, and you can see that. He did it beautifully. He got his, his back to the cage. He turned in. Now he's trying to pummel inside with one of those hands. But Magomed uh, uh, Aliyev is, is just, you know, brilliant return by snaking under the arms and sucking him right back down. Yeah, and these are investments that they use. You get back up, we bring you down. What they slowly do, they slowly drain you. I mean, they come from the school of Khabib Mergamanov. So as you can notice, like, their feet are always active. So, yeah, he's on top, but his feet are constantly hooking things. I think Enjikwani landed awkwardly on that takedown because you can see him yeah, grimacing. Yeah, I think there may be an injury. Magomed Aliyev is on his way to a victory. Referee about to step those, those in here tonight, really through, and there though. it is. It's too much. I think, honestly, hey, Kamaro, I, I watched that closely. I think he landed awkwardly on that leg. You could see the grimace as soon as he hit the ground. I think we have an injury there, Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, a referee in charge, Andrew Glenn, waves off the contest. Two minutes, 49 seconds of our opening stanza for your winner by technical knockout, Raymond Magal. 